Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and we have a brand new knife here from a company I have never tried. Tactile Knife Company. And I want to thank them right off the bat because I contacted them and told them I would love to get one of their knives on the channel, and no questions asked. They hooked it up. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Because I have been wanting to get more and more USA made products on the channel. So I, I appreciate it so much. And this one is made in Magna Cut. So very, very awesome. Thank you to Jack Moss for assembling this bad boy for me. We'll see how it's assembled. Also, you know, I don't have an opinion on Magna Cut yet. I am testing another knife right now so now this will give me two knives to to kind of get my feel for what i think magna cut is all about but you know that will be coming in the near future and here is this beautiful beautiful knife now i did already pop it out one time so so you guys know now um i will say this as well get this out of the way I was going to say, I'm probably going to wind up buying one of their pens. I've seen on their site that they, because they have Tactile Turn, which is their knife company, which has the same milling, which this is another thing that fascinated me about this knife is this milling. I, I like knives with milling, so I'm really excited to get a USA made knife with the, this kind of milling on there. But their pens, USA made, and they're like 100 bucks. You can get a titanium one, and you can also get them in different sizes. They have other materials as well, copper, zirconium, and you just gotta go check them out. I'm gonna link everything down in the description for you. Let's flick this bad boy. This thing does flick very well one of the things i was kind of worried about and watch this so smooth it is very smooth one thing i was worried about was these thumb studs because i'm i'll be honest i'm kind of picky about my thumb studs i like them to be placed a certain way i like good access to them but you can see how this is just machined and it they are extremely easy to get to and this one is extremely smooth. I'm very happy with how smooth this is. And then also, that reverse flick. Did you see how fast I did that? It's so easy to flick out. I'm, I'm very fascinated with how easily that is. And it has to do, it must have to do with this chamfer right here. You just have like perfect placement to get to them. Same thing with the thumb. I like that a lot. You, they're close to the scales, which normally I don't like. Normally that's my biggest complaint is when, um, like even this one. And I'm not trying to knock a knife while I'm doing a first impressions, but like this one, that was my biggest complaint. I can easily get to them, so I don't wanna, you know, complain, make it seem like these this knife isn't awesome, because it is. I love this knife. This is the Tuya Big Belly. It is an integral carbon fiber knife, but my biggest complaint was those thumb studs. I don't think I could do that with this because of how easy it is. Like <laughs> it almost feels like an automatic. Now the drop is so, so smooth. I'm impressed with this knife already. Very, very impressed. And listen to the sound. It has a really cool ting to it. Anyways, perfectly well centered. Um, it is a small compact knife. This is not like my normal everyday carry size, but I do carry a secondary around the size every day. So one of them pretty commonly is the, the, the waypoint, the quiet carry waypoint, which they are, you know, pretty close. This one is a little bit shorter, but I don't know. It really doesn't fit. Eh, maybe I can tell a little bit, but this is a cool knife. This is USA made in Magna Cut. And like I said, we'll, we'll see how I like that steel. Now the geometry, a little bit more robust than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little thinner um, through the geometry. The edge, behind the edge is thin. I'm not complaining about behind the edge. That's nice and thin. The geometry is a little thicker than I thought it was gonna be. 
not that it's horrible or anything. I, I, I don't want to make it seem like this wouldn't cut. This, this will cut just fine. I do love the tactile feel, you know, hence tactile knife. Um, hardware, I haven't gotten a chance to test it or anything yet, but it looks like it's good quality. And then we have, I think it's titanium liner. I'm sorry, it's a steel liner. So we have a steel liner lock. Very solid. Um, the liner, the access to the liner. It's a little tight, but it's not hard. Um, I think what it is is that I normally would be up here unlocking. Eh, maybe I can unlock it up there, though. I, you know, maybe it's just I just need to get used to it. We'll see how it goes. This isn't the review. This is just the first impressions. I literally had just opened up the box before I turned the camera on. Um, I'll, but, but I am very picky about my access to liners I, or lock bars, period. I like having good access. So far, I'm not having an issue, but that has changed before in the past where a knife didn't bother me from the bat and then it did. I don't see that. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it's going to, but um, we'll see how it goes. Now, the one thing, man, I can't help but be impressed by are these thumb studs. They just, it's so easy to, to use and they don't look like it, you know, in the pictures. That's the one thing I was so worried about. I thought I was going to get this and I honestly thought that the thumb studs were going to be annoying. So that's cool. Now the clip, non-reversible. And if we look inside here, you can see all the milling. What is that? I have no idea what that is down in there. Is it because so the blade doesn't hit? No, the blade's not even close. I don't know why there's this cutout deep down in there, that little shiny spot. Uh, maybe it's just a machining thing. I'm not positive, but you can see the screws right there holding in the liner. Very simple design. Let's check out the stop pin. It does have a ramp. I see that. So let me try that again. Right? Oh, it's nice early detent. You can swing past it very easily. Or you can let it drop past. Okay. Um sometimes ramps can be a good thing and a bad thing. It just depends on the placement of them and when they end. So this one ends right there, and it begins right here. Now, the stop pin lands right there, and then in the closed position, cool, perfect spot. That actually worried me for a second. I hate it when they stop, put the stop pin right behind the edge, because then when I go to sharpen, I'm going to remove that steel, and it's going to be impossible for me to put a new choil in. Uh, jimping, it offers a little bit of traction. Ergos, I mean, this is a, a small knife, but nice and comfortable. I feel the clip quite a bit, but it's not, it's not horrid. Like this is the grip I'm mostly going to be using this type of knife in, you know, opening things up, going around packages, things like that, you know, maybe breaking down a little bit of cardboard, cutting straps. And this is an extremely tough steel. So we're going to see what type of performance we get out of this. They said they're heat treating it to 61 or 62 HRC. What'd they say? 61 HRC is what they say. So I am very excited about this one. I never got to try their flipper knife and I regret it. I really wish I would have. It's one that, um, I, I should have, and it's my fault. I should have made sure somehow, some way, I got one of those. Left-handed, I'm not left-handed, but I can easily flick it left-handed, no problem. But yeah, there you guys go. Just a quick look at it, and the review will be coming soon. I will be testing the steel. I will be testing the geometry. I will be testing how it carries, how it operates, how it maintains. Um... And we will see what changes from now till then and what I think about 
the knife itself and how it performs as a tool and you know um, and like I said I will be probably getting one of their pens um, not only because I like the way they look I like that you can pick the size I like that it's USA made they are expensive it's probably something I can't actually recommend because it's a hundred dollar pen and I understand <laughs> I understand it's hard to recommend a hundred dollar pen however you know, if you're trying to get USA made products, which, you know, we definitely uh, need more of, you do have to pay a little bit more. And these guys are doing it. So I'm going to um, get one and I don't know if I'll do a review on it or not, but I'll definitely get one and show you guys. And maybe you guys will want to get one yourself. And I have everything linked down in the description for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.